Alright ladies and gentlemen, what is going on today? We have an awesome match prepared for you guys. This is the Amateur World League Call of Duty Ghost League and here we have Relic Gaming going up against Agility. It's going to be a good match. Map number one starting things off on Domination Freight. Should be a close match here as we're going to head into things. I want to start off with Cole Train. He's going to be the first one on your screen. We're going to see what he does here potentially going to try and rush. I'm not too sure who the who their flag capper is going to be. It does look like it's going to be Rolf. So he's going to sit back, take that first objective. You have Coltrane right now pushing up. He's going to get some gun engagements here. Cut down from the top though. That's going to be Ajax on your screen with the big kill. He's going to wrap around, try and get the flank. There is one player to his left. I don't think he's going to see him. And Raidun actually cuts him down. So. No one has gotten any B control yet. We're going to see that as time goes on throughout the match. Spidosis trying to sit up here in this power position and wait for them to go. You can see they're actually losing C right now, but Spidosis just absolutely turns on him. He's going to start working towards the middle of the map as Swanee, the only player up for the side of agility. And you should see the cap come in here as it's going to be very, very close. And they are almost going to get it. They are not so, so close there. But a big, big clutch coming out from the side of agility. Shuts it down and they get the counter cap. Things are going to be looking good for them now as they take the lead just barely. 
you have Ajax on your screen. He's going to try and just hold down this position, cut that map in half, and you have those players trying to flank through. Is Coltrane going to spot one? No, but Spidus gets his trade. Uh, Spidosis, sorry, not Spidus. That's definitely not his name. However, he watched, I watched some eights, you know, earlier today with this player in it, and he was going off in them. You can see doing the exact same thing here as he picks up the knife on that one player. Impressive stuff there. He's 4-1. and one. He's going to find one more in the back. Is he going to get the top kill? No, he's not. Get shut down just in time. Don't want to cause too much havoc there. Now Ajax back on your screen. Going to kill that player top red. And they are actually losing A. So that's going to be Rydoon on this flag. He's about to get pinched. Absolutely nothing he can do. However, Spidosis now. He gets on the flag. He stops shooting, though. And that is going to be so, so tragic for the side of Relic as they could potentially get those side caps. Maybe even get a triple cap. As you're going to see, Agility locked down here. They have all three flags in their control. You need to see Ajax stay alive here. However, he turns his back. He's going to fall. Two players on him. You can see Raidun now also taking B. They could potentially get this. Are they going to do it? No, they're not. However, it is going to be contested. So it looks like it's going to go back in control of this agility team. As you see, they just have that constant map pressure towards the middle of the map. Haven't given Swanee too much love so far as he's able to pick up one in a big power position, but he gets cut down. Last one up. The real scuff going to be behind these enemies could potentially try to get some kills started here I don't think that player spotted him and now he's going to come behind he picks up one is he going to get the other player he does they're now going to take B right back into possession and you can see now doesn't quite get captured actually as it you know falls just barely off of it Swanee picking up the two piece however this agility squad is now almost doubling the score line of Relic Gaming. Not what you want to see in game number one. We're going to go on board with Spidosis as he's double positive for his team. See what he can do here. He's leading them and slaying. Coltrane, it seems like he's been constantly, you know, trying to push their base. He ends up getting the kill. It looks like he, he actually died from a trophy system and now this is such a big kill. If Coltrane can get this one, he would be in a great position of not able to do so and you're going to see Ajax take right back that A flag. However, control of the flags now in favor of Relic. You could potentially see them try to climb back into this. With only 50 seconds left, what you really want to see from this squad is just bringing that deficit down, right? You want to just see... it. You don't want to go into the half being down by as many points as you could. So you want to try and, you know, make that deficit as small as possible. Maybe if you go down into the second half by 10 points, uh, that would be very good. You can see now they're down um, by almost 20. However, that's going to shrink up here real quick in the last 20 seconds. They won't have a lead going into the second half, but they will be a lot better off going into the second half. And that's what's going to matter here most. So that's going to be our first half of this freight domination between Relic and Agility. So far, Agility with the slight lead here. You can see only about 10 points here going into this second half. So the thing here is Relic had a really slow start, right? We saw them almost getting trip-capped in the very beginning of that game, and I, I think for a little bit they did get uh, trip-capped. They were able to recover from it very, very well, though. Spidosis, 18-8. and eight. I said this player is going to be going off, and he is going off. If you look at the slaying numbers, you would not think that this agility team is in the lead. However, the teamwork overall, you can see they have major caps. Ajax with three, as well as Champ also having three. Rydoon off to a bit of a slow start. However, he knows a player's back here. He's going to need to try and get that trade. He's able to do so. Gets a buzz kill, potentially cutting that player off from his specialist perks. Is he going to stop this? Oh, just short. That would have been a very, very big kill there. Now the nade going to come in. However, he's going to fall. Rolf is the last player alive for this Relic squad, and he does not know where to look. A little worried and cautious about a player potentially flanking. 
Spidos is back on your screen. 20 and 10. They've got to do something quick to try and take that B flag. He's in a good position. If his teammates can get a few kills, he's in a good position to just block off those lines of sight. He does see this player right down at the bottom. He doesn't see him. Finally picks him up there. That could have been a bad situation if he ended up missing that. They've got two kills now. It's only actually going to be one as Ajax spawns right back up. And you can see Spidosis in a big place. However, he actually falls. That was Swanee picking up a big, big kill there. And oh my god, he is going to turn on Rydoon. 16-3. and three. He's back on the map here in terms of the slang. And you can see, if you look at this map now, they are pushing up. They have full control. Spawning them right back in their base. Spidosis able to get some kills with his teammates to try and get out of that spawn trap. However, again, if you look at that map, things are not looking good for this team. We're going to see if they can actually break out of this spawn trap. You see Rolf trying to get some shots down into there. There's only 2 minutes and 45 seconds remaining. And, you know, when you're down like this, things are not going to be looking good. You can see the slang has improved from the side of agility. Ajax just happy to sit right there all game long. Pre-firing their spawn as he picks up three kills in a row. He's on a seven streak. Make it an eight streak now. Approaching 20 kills. He's almost about to have a nine streak here if he does pick up that last kill. And it looks like spawns are going to flip. They're actually losing B and C here. This is not looking good if you are on the side. They do neutralize it, however. But it looks like, you know, agility is too strong. Looks like they're going to just be able to cap this right back. Get into that power position again with two flags. With only two minutes left, you got to do something quick. You got to do something now or else this game is going to get out of hands. Ajax doing such a good job slaying around there. Right, do the last player alive, and he's going to fall to the hands of the real scuff. Putting up some big, big numbers himself. 23 and 13, plus 10 here. Champ right underneath him, slaying out the enemy team's base. You can see they're so, so good at just spawn trapping these teams. As they're just all day long getting these kills. The real scuff now on an eight kill streak of himself. It seems like. The players on agility, they just take turns going off and it is paying off for them as you can now see the slaying heavily in their favor. Three of the four players with 20 plus kills. That is what you need to see here from these teams in game number one and obviously that 1-0 lead can mean a lot. Now have some bodies being shot as the real scuff is letting them know. He's gonna get shot in the back however though and Rolf. No, very slow game game for him. He's able to pick up that one kill, potentially able to, you know, get this flag back. You can see they were just triple capped there for a sec. However, now able to take B. But with this much time left, I don't think it's gonna matter. Even if they got the trip cap, I feel like they wouldn't be able to hold it for long enough to make this a game. This is going to be game number one going in agility's favor. As we will uh, edit the map count here. Going into map number two, it's actually going to be uh, it's actually going to be agility on host. This host was on relic, so you really do not want to to, to lose map number one in this fashion. However, we'll get back to things in game number two. Search and destroy a completely different game mode. We'll be right back with that game number two.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting right into game number two. I actually need to figure out why my one is upside down. And there we go, we have fixed it. So I also need to change the, uh, change that right there, get the teams on the right side. So if you're wondering what the heck any of this means because I made my own graphics, basically the big numbers to the, to the left and to the right of the actual score, that is the map count. I knew people would be curious. So that is going to be it. You have now on the side of Federation, of Relic, you have Spidosis with that sniper rifle out in hand. We're going to go on board with him, see if he can get an early pick off the break. And you see these players on the map all flooding over towards that bomb. Though he could potentially get something right off the bat, however, he does not. And now that bomb is going to be put down by Swanee. Another pick comes in from Ajax shortly before he falls, and it's now all down to Rolf in a one versus three situation. He also has to defuse that bomb as well, and he is just not in a good spot to do so. He gets taken down fairly simply, and that's going to be a 1-0 start in this Search and Destroy for Agility Gaming. And that is not what you want to see after coming off of a loss. Relic, they need to take this map. They do not want to go down it or go into that blitz on Warhawk down 0-2 in the series. It just gets so hard to dig yourself back out from that point. So, um, you know, up until then, they want to just try and play their best. Search and destroy, you know, it's a different game mode. They can, you know, switch things up, play a bit slower if they need to. And the snipe actually comes in through the smoke from Spidosis. Impressive stuff there. That's the kind of stuff you need to see, however... Old train also did get picked up. Who is that player right underneath? It's the real scuff. You can see how far pushed up he is on this player right here. Rolf, I don't think he knows that that player is over there, but it's now a three versus two. And Swanee did not spot that player running towards the B bomb site. However, gunfight's gonna go down here. He picks up one. There's one more in there. It's now a two versus two. Big play out of the real scuff. Try and separate those players. And he does end up getting one. So the bomb has to be planted. Rolf has it in his hands, but he doesn't have a ton of time left to work with. Miscommunication there as Spidosis just runs right past him. They have to put the bomb down now, and you're going to see them do that. They're actually not going to plant it. He's going to find one. However, he does drop. Now all he has to do is run away. One, he should be able to get this, and he does. Just barely. Spidosis, you can see right behind him. And, you know, Relic just played that way too slow. They had a three versus two situation. They had control of that B bomb site, and they did not want to put that bomb down. It ended up costing him... Even though Rolf did get a kill there, he did not have enough time to get put that bomb down. The bomb dropped, uh, and, and Swanee could see, obviously, that it was down on the ground. And so not working out for them too well. More importantly, everyone on Agility does have a kill. Still getting there on the side of Relic. We're going to go on board with Coltrane. See what he can try and do here. It looks like he's going to have an AR out in his hands just based on the fact that he does have that pistol. And it's actually going to be a sniper rifle. So he knows there's that player over there. You might have seen him cross back and he looks away at the worst time now. Another player is going to rush. Don't know who that is, but it looks like we're going to see a gunfight right here shortly. He actually shoots just a little early. Maybe a situation where you don't want to shoot there. That was Swanee. And you can see the difference between these two teams is on the side of agility. They try to get that bomb down as soon as they can. When they have the advantage, they just put it down. That, you know, maybe a play style you want to adopt if you're on the side of Relic. And there's a player right below him that he didn't see. It's now Swanee in a one versus three. He has to keep that player off of the bomb. He's going to get on it now. He gets one. 
And it looks like he should have this round win. He's going to get the knife as well. He is going to do it. Gets the one versus three clutch against Relic. Does fall there to Spidosis, but that is a round that you cannot throw away if you're on the side of Relic. You have a 3v1 situation and you leave mid-map wide open for Swanee to make an insanely you know, well-written play. That's textbook S&D right from him getting the player off the bomb, running away. That's all he had to do in that situation. Now this sniper is whereabouts are known. Is he going to get killed? Yes, it's Swanee with that first blood. They now have a 4v2 advantage. Both players yet to get a kill. Now Rydoon on your screen. And he's going to get sniped down from Ajax. Ajax getting quite a few snipes this round. It may not look like he's doing the most work, only at 3-3. Three and three. However, it seems like... You know, every time we're not paying attention to him, he ends up getting a big kill. And there's one of them there. As you now have a 4-0 to zero lead. Here for this team. So, I mean, I'm going to go on board with Swanee just because he is doing the best. 5-1, and one, he's been getting those first bloods. He got the 1 versus 3. It looks like they're going to try to cross over to this bomb site, And you can see Coltrane. He rushes up. This is a good play from him. It's all the way up. He can potentially prevent a plant from coming down. Frankly, as long as they stay alive and don't let the plant come down, they would be set. For the first time, Rydoon and Cole both have a kill here. So that's a good start from them. It's a 4v2 situation. You can see they're just trying to look for picks here. Relic, they can't give in. They can't let them get those openings that they want to get. Set up so carefully, and it's now Champ in a 1 versus 4. And it looks like Relic is going to be getting their first round up on the board here. Fairly soon as they are able to do it. And that's a perfect round from Relic. 4 up, 4 down in their favor. Perfect SD. You have to win those defenses just like that. And they did it by making sure that Agility could not get that first pick. If they just stay alive, keep their lives up on defense, they could be set for the rest of the rounds. And this is where we could see some sort of a comeback in this game. As Rolf, after disappointing game number one, he has turned things around in game number two. He's going to get that first blood. That is what you need to see from Relic. They're just going to back off. Another kill comes in. That's Spidosis with the snipe. And now, what do you do if you are on the side of agility? Especially when that bomb goes down. That's another thing we were saying was plant that bomb as soon as you can. As soon as you have the number advantage. They're going to do just that. And this round is looking near to impossible for agility. As this player about to fall. And in this situation, you look at the map. They have the whole map just completely cut off in their favor. Now a one versus four. You're going to see this player right on the back side. His teammate cleaning it up. That's Rolf. He gets the first kill, and he ends up getting the last kill. And that's two rounds in a row for the side of Relic. And again, another perfect round. For the side of Relic, they did not drop a single player, I don't think, that time. Impressive stuff from them. If they can keep this up, we could have a very, very interesting game on our hands here. Idosis, he's been getting those first bloods. The smoke does come in, and you can see they're switching things up here. Who's this player right there? It was actually Rolf with the two-piece. Swanee able to trade out one kill. However, one more is going to be spotted there. My Dune shot. I don't agree with the decision to, you know, pull the trigger there. However, he does end up doing it. And Rolf in a very powerful position. He ends up getting another. That's three this round. Is he going to get the ace? I don't know if he knows where that player's at. He's at nine kills, though, on a five-kill streak. Is he going to see this player? They're both really watching the same thing. Could end up getting spotted. He gets away with his life. 
goes back to re-peak it though. I don't know if I agree with that. Ajax now in a very difficult situation. You can see they know where the bomb is as well. You have Rydoon here. Right under him. And this is going to be another kill. And Rolf gets the ace. Impressive stuff out of him here. You're going to see in his final kill cam. Picking that player right off the top. Agility. Saying, you know, let's throw a curveball at him. Let's go B. Or sorry, let's go A. However, that does not work out as Rolf says. I have something to say about that. And you can now see... Really, Raidun, a big recovery from there. Coltrane, if he could step things up here as well, they could do so, so well. And you see here, he has that bomb in hand. And one player actually does spawn out or time out, actually. I believe that was, um, that was, uh, what's his name? Uh, it started with an R. I know his, his name started with an R. However, they are still winning. They are at three versus two and about to have a perfect round. The real Scuff OP makes a very smart play there, however. He saw that player was there. He decides, you know what? I can just go around. I don't need to do anything stupid here. You can just play it safe. And you can see they should put that bomb down on A. Coltrane with it in hands. It looks like they are going to do just that. Real scuff in a difficult situation. He knows the bomb's planted down at A. He now needs to react. He's not going to spot this player here, though. And that is going to be four rounds in a row on the side of Relic. They have won four straight after getting dominated in the first four rounds. Winning a three versus four against a team that smoked them in game one, that was smoking them for the first half of this game. Got to give credit where it's due to Rolf, and it looks like they are going to just end the game here. They realize that, you know, these players, they're spawning out. They're going to change teams. They don't want to fight another three versus four. However, they ended up winning the first one, so agility in the series overall is going to be up 1-0. to zero. However, Relic have an easy, easy possibility to tie things up at one apiece. Potentially only two more rounds of S&D as we saw eight rounds there played. No back and forth. It was Agility winning the first four and then Relic answering right back to tie things up. Something you usually don't see in S&D, especially after a Heartbreaking game number one loss. I'm not going to cut away uh, to the overall map count screen with music at the moment now as we should be getting these players in shortly and starting things back up. I don't know these teams' records in the league. I could actually try to check it right now for you guys. Here, let's look. I'm going to try just looking through uh, the AWL. Uh, they have the rosters. And they had, like, reported team stuff. Okay, that's the teams. I don't need the teams. I'm looking for... I think it was the schedule. The one that it was. Yeah, here's the schedule, all right, and then I think this is in, um, hotel. It is, all right, so, I don't really know how to read this. It looks, to me, it looks like Agility Esports lost 2-3 to three against Gone Gaming. But the way that this is set up, it says like home and then away under map count. Is that like maps one at home and maps one away? It's very, very hard to understand. But it seems like agility is the only team. I know that Relic has not played a map yet, or a match yet, and this was going to be their first actually had to reschedule it with three different teams. Originally, they were going to be playing Gone Gaming. Then it changed to Texan Warlocks. And then it changed um, to the team they're playing now, Agility US or Agility Esports. But 
Just going to wait for these players to get in. Hopefully it won't be too long before they do. Just waiting on one. And it was the player who originally spawned out before. I don't know why I can't remember his name. It was like Rydon. Rydon. Something like that. Yes, if you're just tuning into the screen or the stream, sorry. Agility up 1-0 in map count. They won freight domination. However, game two is far from a blowout here as we have it tied up at 4-4. Gonna be interesting to see what happens here as this is a big, big game for Relic. You you almost ha I, I'm gonna say you have to win this this map you know we saw towards the end of the first half of freight uh, it, it got closer and they were only down by about 10 points however they, they just have slower starts to rounds or, or to games I guess it seemed like in that domination perhaps it was just the map um, but we're gonna have Warhawk Blitz next up and then after that it's Sovereign Sovereign Domination right and then if it goes to a map three, then it's uh, Warhawk S and or a map five. I mean, Warhawk S and D would be map five. I really hope it goes all the way to a game five. I think that would be so so sick to watch. Uh, if you're wondering about who's hosting what in this series, Relic hosted game number one, which they lost, and they're gonna host game number three. So this game right now is all tied up four four on Agility's host. Agility, they were up 4-0, and um, it was Rydoon. All right, I see now in the chat people are saying it was Rydoon. Okay, yeah, so Rydoon, he was the player. I knew it was R-Y-D, and then there was like some N's and O's in there. Uh, th that was about as much as I knew from that point. However, should be getting started. We're just waiting on that one player. Should be getting in here shortly. Let me know down in the chat who you guys think is going to end up taking the series. And hey, we got Rydoon back in here. So we should be starting things back up very, very shortly now. Back at, I believe we're going to start it at 4-4. Four, four. That should, that is my, that's what I'm thinking is that we'll start it at 4-4 four, four in round count for this search and destroy. And we're going to go back on the side of Relic because they're just steamrolling right through these players. Got some hashtag agility in the chat going. We'll see if that's enough to drive them through to go up 2-0. to zero. As now, I'm going to turn everything on here in Codcaster. And Coltrane, he was really, really struggling towards that game number two before we had to you know take that break I want to see if he can try and get the ball rolling a little bit you know if he was having a better performance we could pot potentially see you know even a bigger lead a comeback happening sooner and you can see he is getting so so aggressive and and could be getting naded out and he's gonna get a nade right to the face there that was Swanee he's now gonna put the bomb down we talked about this earlier about how aggressive they are when they have that bomb down. Spidosis, though. Him and Rolf. The last two players up in a four ver versus two. He's going to drop. It's all down to Rolf. He only has 30 seconds remaining, though. And this is going to be near impossible. He's getting shot. And that's going to be Ajax cutting him down. So agility one round away here. From going up 2-0 in the series, something Relic does not want to happen. If you're a fan of them, if you're a player, if you're part of the aura, you, you want to see them take these next two rounds. They won four straight. They can do it here. I know they can. Rolf, he's got to go big here. He had an eight or eight or nine kill streak before. He's going to get first blood as well. That's the kind of stuff we needed to see. But who is this player flanking all the way around. 
have him highlighted here. It's Ajax. You could see him getting a kill here. He is going to be able to do so, and he gets out with his life. So it's a three versus three. Minute left for Relic to try and get a plant down. They need to try and get some kills. Spidosis here. Don't think he knows that there's a player in that back gas station. Doesn't look like he does, so the action could come down here as the real scuff. I don't know if he actually hears that player, but he does, and he gets the kill. Now a two versus three. Things are looking like they're about to get difficult here as he's going to get shot in the back. It's now Coltrane in the one versus two. He has to go big or go home. And he's not going to plant the bomb. So to me, this is a big mistake. And it actually, he might be able to get back in time to do so. He's not going to do it, though. Big mistake out of him. And, you know, that's going to cost him it's those two players. They knew he couldn't rotate all the way back over to B. And that is going to be game number two. Relic are going to take it in a 6-4 fashion. And we'll get back to you guys with game number uh, with game number three very, very shortly. As I'm just going to edit up the uh, tabs now. Edit up the map counts. I know the production side of this probably isn't the best. That is because I am trying to... Uh, do this all on OBS myself with no professional streaming uh, techniques. So, we'll be right back with map number three.
All right, everybody, welcome back. This is game number three of the Amateur World League Ghosts League. And Relic are finding themselves down 0-2 in map count. If they have any hopes of staying alive here in their first league match, they are going to have to go off. You're going to turn Oracle mode on so you guys can see what's happening. Swanee picks up one kill. Three players all still alive have yet to die on the side of Agility. There's one in post right next to him. He could end up spotting him, but his teammate cleans him up. So now, it looks like Swanee is going to be able to sneak through. And you're going to see he's going to walk right past this player. Actually picks up the kill as well. He's able to get through, though, despite dying at the last second. <coughs> Now Rolf trying to push up on this side of the map. However, he has a lot of defense to get through. Able to pick up one. He's got his teammate support there. It's Cole with him. He's going to jump through. Doesn't look like Cole is going to be able to get a kill. However, he is able to get the cap. So it is now a 1-2 to two game. You can see he's wrapping back for that defensive hold. If you look at the map, you have two players that are ready to push in. This one right here, Champ. Is he going to spot him? He needs to just try and stay alive with his life. As you can see, they've all flooded the base. A good nade comes in and cleans him up. The real scuff now. Able to get the trade, and he's going to go right in for another cap. They're up by two points now. And he's just going to go back for more. There's this one player right here. It's Rolf. He's got a submachine gun in his hands now. Laser-like shots there as he takes down the real scuff. He's pushing up with Coltrane. You've seen they've been the objective players in this game so far. Trying to just push up. This is going to be a big, big kill if he can get this one. And you can see the defense of Relic not too good from the start as they're going down one to four. Rolf however it looks like he's gonna be able to sneak through he's able to get one Cole gets the other and they now have control of the base who is this it's Spidosis in a very very big power position to try and make something happen he has Rydoon right on his tail here if he can get that kill he does do so. Spidosis able to get one as well. They're climbing right back into this one. There's now some team stunts actually coming in here. And he just pulls it at the wrong time. However, Coltrane able to get the trade. Big kill coming out of him. He drops though and it's the real scuff going in for a play. At the same time though, who is that player all the way back? That's actually at their base. Now you're going to see Coltrane coming back to defend. There's that one player. It's Swanee. I believe it was Swanee there. The game all tied up now. Swanee does get a kill there at middle. He has some map control, and you can see he's going to try and push up the map. Couldn't happen. But who is that sneaky player in the back? It's Rydoon. He's going to clear all the way through, and Relic take the lead in game number three. We could potentially see their hopes stay alive. That other player spotted there. They've got a lot of work to do. You can see they're all bunched up in their base. Rydoon picking up one big, big kill there, though. The real scuff falls right as he tries to get one. Champs the last player up for anything to do, and it's a perfect hold from Relic. They're able to clear the whole enemy team, and you can now see they push up. But big, big communication error from Rydoon as he nades out his teammate. Going to put them at a big, big disadvantage here. As he's also going to fall now. Spidosis falls as well, and that's going to be another push stopped. This is where you're going to see. You can see those four arrows. They're just flooding. They're all watching a lane perfectly. They're doing a great job at what they need to do. And is he going to be able to spot this player? He sees the legs on him. And he's now going to get some shots in. You do not want to be turned on here. Rolf. 
potentially the last man up here. He's gonna find one. Is he gonna get the two piece? He is gonna get the two piece, and he is able to hold on to his team's base. They are going to end up in the lead going into this half, but it's not by much. So if you're relic, you're happy. You were down, you know, one three or one four, something like that, able to tie it up over time. Able to take the lead eventually, and you can see there that dirty kill cam from, I believe it was Rolf there at the end. He has been performing absolutely great so far in this game. And you're now going to see they're going to need to continue this strong, strong play style. We'll actually go on board with Ajax as he's not having the best game so far. Going to see if he can turn things around. Going to get one kill. Pre-fire the next, but not going to be able to clean that up. I think that was Raidun, actually, that he was trying to get. However, not able to do so. And who's that player sneaking back in the back? Is he able to get that kill? No, he's not. And he's just going to hide out in American here. Going to see this one here. And is he going to get the knife? He is going to get the knife kill on him. However, there's one more to deal with. He's going to have to go through more than just that one player. Doesn't look like he sees him, though. And who was that, actually? I think it wasn't Spidosis. I don't know who it was. However, able to get that shutdown. Big play out of them. Swanee now pushing up this side of the map, too. You can see those arrows now. They're pushing. They're going to try and get a play. If Swanee is able to cut through this player here. He could potentially do a lot of work, and he does. He gets pre-fired, and first shots don't go in his favor. However, that laser-like accuracy is able to clean things up, and now he's going to just get perfectly naded out. Very good nade there. He should have just tried to you know, play his life a little more until the real scuff could get over to him. He is now going to try and get a kill. However, drops just short. And who is this player right there? There's two. It's Spidosis and Raidoon. They're both trying to get through here. Rydoon falls. However, Spidosis still up. He's going to get one. Is he going to get through? He does. However, falls just after. Now 7-5 to five in the lead here for Relic. They could potentially see themselves holding on going into a game number four. It's Cold Train now. He's going to try and sneak up. However, he's going to get cut down fairly easily. It's now Swanee and the real scuff. He gets the kill he needs to. Swanee gets one as well and that is going to be one more and they are going to start running away with it here. As, oh, Swanee just looks at the wrong angle for just the wrong second. They're going to get one through. So now only a one point game. And who was that in there? Okay, it was Champ. He's still in a good position. There's that one player in the back, though. It's Rolf. He's not going to see it, and this is going to be a free cap. The game is now going to be tied up, but just as I say that, a cap comes in for Relic. And it's going to be back to a 8-7 lead. Still very, very close, though. This game is going to come down to the wire as Relic. Obviously needing to get this one if they want to stay alive in the series. The real OP gets a big knife off on him. He's now just going to push straight up the map. For the most part, he's going to get another knife. That's, what, a two-knife streak for him? He's on a three-streak in total. And he's going to spot that player. Going to choose to get the kill. You know, if I was him, I would have tried to sneak. Just because that player would have said, I got the kill over here. You know, American's clear. Instead, though... That is now what we're going to see in a big kill there. That was Raidoon able to clutch up big time there, making things happen. You know how Champ clearing through. He's going to find one there, and he does have an open goal if he's going to get that kill as well. There's one more he needs to get through. He's going to get cut down. The nade also coming in. However, that's all four dead on the side of Relic, and things are going to start falling apart for them here if they're not able to clear out their base, but it looks like they're going to. It's all tied up with 50 seconds left to go. That player is going to walk right by. Cole now has a big, big job to do here. He has some teammate support. 
He's gonna get the kill. Huge clutch out of Cole as they do not get through. Is he gonna get the two piece? Oh my god, Cole. Absolute tear right there, shutting down the push from the side of agility. And we could potentially be seeing overtime here unless a team is able to get a sneaky push in. You're gonna see Rydoon could potentially do it. There's no one there to stop him. Just as I say that, player is starting to spawn up. Gonna see now. He's gonna be able to knock it one. That is going to be game. We are going to overtime, ladies and gentlemen. Relic. They're not out of it yet, and the real scuff has just got knife after knife kill in this game. It seems like every time we switch to him, he is just stabbing it right into someone's chest. You can see here for the final kill cam for yourself, he's going to do so. And Relic, showing some signs of life here in Blitz. They could potentially stay alive in this series. As it's now going to be another map replay. Here on the side of things. We're going to get right into this very, very soon. As soon as we can get things started up here. As that game, you know, Relic, very, very good play. You saw Cole, huge clutch there at the end to shut down those players with that two-piece. You know, potentially... That could have been the game winner right there if he was able to shut those down. Um, you know, if he didn't shut those down, I mean, that agility player could have potentially gotten through scoring that final cap within the last, what, 30 seconds, something like that. We now have a player leaving the game, so I'm not too sure uh, what's happening quite yet. How well, however, Relic, not out of it yet. We're just going to... DM right now to see what's happening. All right, so yes, we will be doing a map replay now that they tied it up at the end there. And Relic, they know that they can fight back. This is still their host. They know that if they just hold on strong and play their game, they can end up with the win. We could potentially see some class you know, switch change coming in here fairly shortly. But for the meantime... We're just going to need to wait and see. You're just tuning in. Agility. They took game number one. Domination on Freight with, you know, I, I don't want to say with ease because you definitely saw some signs of life from Relic, especially during that first half. However, they, they ran away with it. I'll say that. Agility, you know, they took advantage. They ran away with the game. Um, and, and so they went up 1-0. At the very start of the series. Then in the Surge and Destroy. They were up 4-0. to zero, And Relic actually won 4 rounds straight. Put them in a big position. However, they weren't able to close it out there. And we saw Agility take the better of them. Winning it 6-4. But, again, if you're just tuning in. We are replaying the map. Because Relic actually tied it up with Agility. It was 8-8. Eight, eight going into the last few seconds and no one was able to push through for that final cap so what we're going to see now is a fresh start for both these teams they know how each other like to play and i wish it didn't have to be a full 70 seconds before the map actually starts however and to see these players get on the right team and i'm curious as to who i want to go on board with I actually want to start with Cole as he was doing some work towards the end of that game there. Not putting up the most numbers, but he clutched up big time to keep his team alive in this series. And with 40 seconds left, we're just going to see this game start to unwind. Get some hype in the chat. Who do you think is going to win it? Do you think that Agility is going to close things out here 3-0? 
or does Relic still have some fight in them? Well, we're going to find out soon enough. There were a few plays that, you know, if I'm either of these teams, I want to go back and look at. I think it was Ajax at one point. His teammate just got cut down at one uh, over towards American. And he could have just snuck right past the player. However, he turns around and shot him. Could have, you know, potentially warned the players back in their base that, you know, there's a player over there. You know, pay attention to American. So I, I, I would have played it a bit more passively there. Coltrane on your screen here. First gunfights are going to be going right back and forth overall in favor of that side. And Raidu now, he has to just push right forward. However, not able to do so. And we're going to see that first cap coming in for the side of agility in just a second as the nade kill comes in quite perfectly. One's going to go down. Is he going to be able to get the kill? Does get one, however. Cut down shortly after. You now have Ajax on your screen. I don't think this player saw him. And he should be able to run right through. And that's going to be a second point. So this could be scary if you are on the side of Relic. You don't want these players to just start running away with these games. So you're going to need to see some some just a little bit slower play styles, I'd say. Raidun gets shot down. Rolf, he's the last person over towards this side of the map. Just as I say that, his teammate does spawn up. However, he's full stun. Going to get cut down there. Doesn't have much of an option. And Raidun just gets mapped from across the whole, the whole street from Swanee. It's now 3-1, to one. so we saw this same position that Relic was in before. They were down 1-3, to three and they ended up winning that first half 6-5, to five, I believe it was. Pull train. He's going to be very, very patient, letting this player sneak through. He's going to play it very smart, and he's going to tie things up. So that 2-0 lead very, very quickly goes right back to a tie game here. As... Getting flashbacks going back to that CTF game in Black Ops 3 between Dream Team and FaZe. They actually had to replay the whole map twice because they tied the first game, they went to overtime, and then they tied the second, no one won that, so they had to replay the map. They tied the second game, went to overtime, no one won that. And then they tied the third game, but Dream Team ended up taking it in overtime. So we could have seen th four map replays in that I'm really hoping we don't end up seeing that here, as that would just be very, very long. That would be a lot of, you know, Blitz, Warhawk, Hole Train. If he lets this player sneak past him like he should, perfect, perfect play from him. He's going to let him sneak past, and this is an automatic cap for this Relic side. He's going to tie things up at 4-4 four, four apiece. However, map control heavily, heavily in favor of this agility squad. Seems like all the caps that Relic are getting are mainly just uh, sneak caps, whereas the ones that Relic or agility keep getting are consistent. You know, they're pushing up on the map, they're able to get kills. Swanee picks up one, and the team nade actually comes in, so it's big, big clutch out of Coltrane there, as he now needs to just play this very, very safely. Try to play his life. He knows that player's over there, and he's going to get the kill as well. Good defensive hold, but you see, they're too far pushed in their base. They have that whole right side of the map open if they just get that one player killed. Back towards Bar, and it's going to be up to Coltrane to do just that. If he lets him sneak by again, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to do that. And it's the real scuff with yet again another knife kill. And he has has the whole map to really go to. There's only one player there to shut him down. He lets him slide right by, and that is going to be a cap. They're going to go up 5-4. to four. However, tied right back up, just as I say that. 5-5. Five, five. These games cannot be any, any closer. Now, Coltrane. He gets stunned, and he's going to actually get two-piece by Swanee. He got the first, and then, you know, he knew that player was stunned in water. He was able to pick it up. Is he going to get the third? He has four players all right in front of him. His teammate cleans up one. All the kills going in favor of him. Going to get the nade down. Able to pick up one more. However, he gets cut down off the ladder. You now have Champ potentially able to get a kill here. 
However, not gonna do that. Real scuff gets cut down. Bodies being shot everywhere. Doesn't look like anyone's gonna be able to get a sneak happen. Just as I say that, there is this one player. However, he looks away at the wrong second. Spidosis not able to get one, and there's this one player right there. He gets cut down, and so does this player. That's gonna be a cap. However, it gets tied up, it gets countered, and it's 6-6 going into the half. This game could not be any any closer. I, th I thought for sure their agility, you know, one player got that kill, he got the other, and I was like, oh no, things could just be falling apart there at the very end. However, they focused so much on getting that cap that they weren't thinking about, you know, their own base, and it ended up biting them there. However, still a tie game. I mean, if you're Relic, there has to be so much pressure on you right now to turn up Spidosis. Performing majorly, as always. Gonna try and get a stun out. Still able to do so. Actually gets the kill with his shots down. And he has three players here. They're gonna get the kills. And this is going to be big on... Uh, who's this player in the back? I believe it's Rai, Rai Dune. He needs to clutch up big time here he's gonna not be able to get that one player and he gets cut down in the back as well meanwhile Rolf gets cut down in his base as well Spidosis though with a big clutch to shut that down and now who is it I believe it's champ it's that one kill he's now pushing through there's one player there to try and cut it down it's Spidosis he knows he's over there he's gonna see him however Mantle's over the wall. I don't believe he meant to do that. Or it's not going to end up costing him in the end as he is still going to get the kill. And now you have one more player over here. Spidosis. He knows he's there though. He cuts him down. And this we could see a potential cap back over towards their base. Not going to happen though. As who is it? I believe it's Rydoon. He also gets cut. You can see how defensively this team is playing Relic. Playing very, very nicely now. And he's going to sneak right back. Spidosis with a big play there. He's going to get right through. However, I don't think this other player is quite aware that there is one back here. Coltrane shuts down one with a big kill. He's going to not get the second he stopped shooting. And that is so heartbreaking for the side of Relic. To not get the kill because you stopped shooting. Uh, actually, that could have been a spectator glitch there. We don't really know for sure. But now another goal is going to come in here. And they're focusing, focusing too heavily on the offense now as they're down by two. Swanee, last one up though. That's going to be all of them dead. And they could start potentially rolling through. Perfect play out of him. However, he gets cut down from behind. Now all up to Coltrane in his spawn with the help of Raidoon to try and hold off this next push. Kills going in their favor, and there you have it. The real scuff with yet another knife kill. Picks up the second there. He's on a three kill streak. 12 and 11 out of him. He's going to try and push right up here. They're now down by two. And you're going to need to see some big work coming out of this relic side, and you're just not seeing the kills come in. They're now going to be down by three. The two minutes left. And he is playing so, so well here. You see how he's just playing his life. Perfect, perfect job from him. He knows he needs to just stay alive, wait for some teammate support. That's just exactly what he's doing. I don't know if he spotted that player. He's going to look now. He's going to get cut down, though. And that should be a cap. It is going to be a cap. However, still three-point deficit. They have to start dedicating a player to you know, more of a defensive role. Coltrane has to go massive here. Oh, he should have just let him pass there. However, oh, not going to do so, and that's going to end up hurting them. He needs to get this player. He is going to be able to do so. There's one more. However, he sneaks right by, and that's going to be a two-point game now. Rydon, Rydun, whatever his name is, he needs to stay alive here. If he just stays alive in this position, he will be very, very set off, however... Not going to do so. And Coltrane could get some bad timing here. He's not going to spot that player. Just going to let him pass, and that could be very dangerous for him. He is going to clean up the kill. 
However, it looks like he will get picked up here. It's now a three-point game. Not much time left. Spidosis. One more player behind him that I believe just tried to sneak by. 40 seconds left. It looks like this is going to be all she wrote. I don't think they're going to be able to do it as they get one. And the caps would have to come down right to the end. And no, it's not going to be possible now as Agility does score another. And they are going to close out the series 3-0 versus Relic. Relic showed shot signs of life throughout that whole thing. I mean, definitely not a bad performance from them. Uh, they, you know, they kept it close in the domination for the first half. They brought it right back in the search and destroy. They forced a whole map replay of Blitz. However, in the end, it is going to be Agility taking it 3-0. And that is going to be your final series count. I hope you guys enjoyed the casting. If you did, make sure to drop a follow in the stream. I will be casting more of these games, of these league matches, obviously, uh, especially for Relic in the future. So if you enjoyed, drop a follow, and I will see you guys in another stream. Thank you.